By Nye Mudzikakuri Parliament yesterday approved the reappointment of Auditor General Mrs. Mildred Cherry for another term, saying that she managed to unmask corruption and corporate governance deficiencies, which were hurting the economy, particularly in state entities. Auditor General Mrs. Mildred Cherry left addresses the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Zimbabwe workshop on bridging the gap auditing in the public sector in July last year, legislators across the political divide rejected the proposal to appoint Mr. Mike Endozo, the managing director of the Industrial Development Corporation IDC, as a replacement for Mrs. Cherry. Parliament, which believes Mr. Endozo's track record in several state entities is appalling, pushed for the reappointment of Mrs. Cherry, whom they said had done a sterling job in unearthing several financial irregularities in government ministries and state entities. After debating the motion, which was moved by Finance and Economic Planning Minister Patrick Chinamasa, legislators were unanimous that Mrs. Cherry had to be given a new tenure. As the country's chief auditor, Minister Chinamasa said Mrs. Cherry agreed to stay after being persuaded by legislators. Public Accounts Committee Chairperson Ms. Porina and Periwa MDCT said Ms. Cherry made available information which corrupt individuals as well as other legislators did not want made public. She brought us pride as women and as a nation, she said. Serving the nation, in that capacity is difficult. She has lost friends, including relatives, because some may not want to associate with her. Ms. Imperi was said by virtue of Mrs. Cherry's sterling work, the Public Accounts Committee was reputed as one of the best parliamentary committees in the SADC region. Mutasa South MP Cderin Zindi Zanupf said Mrs. Cherry demonstrated that women were able to do well in leadership positions, but were sometimes overlooked. She said the patriarchal nature of society should change. Masvingo's central legislator Dr. Daniel Shumba urged government to act on Mrs. Cherry's reports. My issue is to what? extent are we going to be utilizing those capabilities that she has driven in ensuring that her reports inform government policy, he said. It is critical, Mr. Speaker, that she doesn't only churn out reports that we commend. She has, in more than one occasion, exposed the delinquencies that have existed in the executive in respect to corporate governance, corruption. We should import those findings into government policy. Members who contributed to the motion included Zava Shavinangazi constituency MP CDE John Holder Zanup, Harari West MP Ms. Jesse Major Me MDCT, Mazo South Member of Parliament Fortune Chazi Zanup, Bingus South MP Mr. Joel Gabu Zagabaza MDCT and Burera South Legislator CDE Joseph Chinatimba. There was a moment of comic relief when CDE Chinatimba erroneously referred to Mrs. Cherry as a my Chazi. CDE Chinatimba said Parliament should also oversee the appointment of board members in parastatals as most ministers were appointing their cronies, which was in direct contravention of corporate governance. Principles Speaker of the National Assembly Advocate Jacob Mudenda duly approved the reappointment of Ms. Cherry in terms of Section 310 Subsection 1 of the Constitution as well as Subsection 1 of Section 310 Appointment of Auditor General. The Herald